Our next guest is a bit of a brainiac. The McLean teen participated in this year's International Science and Engineering Fair and came out a big winner for her work in robotics. Please welcome Ava Lacmajeri and her robot Artie. Did I get that right? Yes. Okay, great job. <laughs> okay, so we've got Artie here and everybody in the studio is in awe because you built this this guy. Yes. <laughs> and so tell me about this uh, competition and tell me what you won. So basically the Intel ISF competition, International Science and Engineering Fair, is for high school students they have a host of different categories, ranging from animal sciences to robotics and intelligent machines. Um, and it's just a great way to bring all these people together to have a really great and engaging environment for people interested in science and engineering. And that's what you see yourself doing? Yes, okay. absolutely. You have a, a really big interest in this. 17 years old, we should point out. I mean, this is remarkable. Um, so tell me how you uh, created Artie and what he does. So basically, Artie is a brain-actuated robot. The idea is that the user can wear this headset, um, which records the brain activity, um, sends that information to the computer. At that point, the computer processes the signal, um, basically maps those into actions for the robot to execute, and then Artie is responsible really um, in the long run for helping people with physical disabilities who can't move on their own. So he's doing what you are thinking of. Pretty much. Essentially. You could have done this down for me. <laughs> there's, there's a few different modes of control. Um, in some of the cases, you're basically accessing, you know, predefined commands, um, you know, th simple things for object manipulation. Okay. Other times, the user can actually program their own command for RD, still only using their brainwaves. Now, was this a competition that you got involved with because of school or something that you did on your own? So I actually started this project um, this past summer just as, as an independent research project. Okay. Um, but then a lab opened up in my school um, to kind of facilitate, give extra resources, time to work on it, and then I started doing the science fair through that lab. And I think it's remarkable that you want to use this to help people with physical disabilities. How did that come into your mindset? Do you have a family member? I mean, was, how did you get involved in that? Um, so I've been working on robotics for a few years, and then I recently got interested in neuroscience. So okay. I took a class online, and one of the units was on brain-computer interfacing. Okay. Um, and I saw this incredible video of some of the research being done where a woman with tetraplegia was actually able to control a robotic arm um, that could... Um, she could control using her brainwave. She picked up a can of coffee and took a drink from it for the first time since she'd had a stroke 15 years wow. earlier. Um, so that was really the inspiration That's and the remarkable. starting point. Okay, and so you've got something similar to that that you're going to show us today yes. is already working with a water bottle here. So pretty much I have a simulation here that um, basically mimics uh, jaw clenching, which is the actuation that the user has to control all the different capabilities of the robot. Okay. So the headset is measuring your brain activity as you clench your jaw. And okay. right now I just have a simple simulation of that. Okay. Okay, so Artie's talking to us right now, saying, I'm ready to show you what I can do. So right now, I'm basically just going to run a simple command that I pre-programmed, again, only using the brainwaves. Okay. Um, and he's just going to show you how he can hold a bottle of water. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Eileen, who's a huge STEM fan, is loving this. So right now, he's just going to hold this bottle of water that I'm just placing in his hand. He's going to turn it around. If you want to come pick it up on the other side, he's going to So he's going to hand it you. off to me? Yes. Okay. So just showing some of the basic object capabilities. Next year is primarily focused on, no, not yet. Oh, not yet. Okay. He's going to turn a little more. Oh, my goodness. Um, but next year is more focused on it? navigation. Exactly. So it's really just to help the user in any of these motor movements that they wouldn't be able to perform themselves. Almost there. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just going to turn his wrist up just to make it easier for you to hold, and now you can kind of grab and it now, out of his hand. Okay. Yeah. So just pull it up. Yep. There you go. And so he releases his little fingers. <laughs> Remarkable. So tell me the, the prize that you won. So I actually won um, first prize best in category at Intel ISF, um, and then a few um, organizational awards. Um, I got an asteroid named after me, which was pretty cool. Amazing. Um, and a full tuition ride at Drexel University. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. That is remarkable. This guy is remarkable. Um, only 17 years old. <laughs> Eileen is creeping over your shoulder I'm here. Hello. Over here to see height. Uh, this this is, is unbelievable this is so that you were able cool. to create this. Hey, Artie, how you doing? <laughs> he can also wave. Looking fab. He can wave. He can, he can princess wave. Let me just princess run that wave. program. Princess wave. So you, these are all programs that you have already yes. put into So them. you okay. have a few different modes of control. You have the direct control, where you can basically um, give it smaller tasks, like you know, move the arm forward. Okay. Then you have more complex programming modes, training modes, really just to ease mental taxation on the user. Wow. You are That's remarkable. Let me see right? your hand. Yes. I mean, Ava, everyone needs to know your name. I see <laughs> yes. great things Seriously. for your Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Congratulations on the win. Congratulations on the scholarship. And we wish you nothing but the best. This is, this is life changing. Yes. Thanks for coming Thank in and you. showing him to us today.